Hey, welcome everybody to this very special edition of the Ronimo Streamy Show. Uh, I'm Tim, with me today is Olivier. Hello. And Jasper as well, although he might be off screen a bit. Hello. <laughs> and behind the controls is Kuhn. Hello. Hey. And since, th since this is such a special edition of the Streamy Show, Kuhn will not have uh, a lot of time for the chat. So in the chat is Joost, Robin and Dave to help you out with all kinds of questions uh, you might have. And also, and this might come as a shocker, there will be no raffles today. Ah. No RoboScoops. <laughs> no RoboScoops today. But we've got so much to talk about and so much to show you guys that... Um, we don't that have time for RoboScoops. We don't even have time for RoboScoops. So, uh, let's, let's just get into it. Update 4.0. It's been five years since the original release of Awesome Knots, and a ton of stuff has happened since then, right? Yep. Yeah, we've been working on Awesome Nuts now for eight years almost, I guess. Uh, yeah, so much has happened. Awesome Nuts came out in 2012 on Xbox, uh, PlayStation, and of course Steam, Mac, and Linux. Um, yeah, uh, uh, since then, so much has happened. Like a giant community has sprung up around the game, a really fun community. Uh, we ha we've always had a lot of fun interacting with, uh, with you guys. Um, Starstorm came out a year after release, uh, and then later, of course, Overdrive, yep. Spectator Mode, uh, the whole Kickstarter, so much has happened in the last couple of years. Um, but right now, I think it's time for the next big step for us nodes. Yeah, yeah, I think after all that stuff, I th there's still much more we can do, and we've taken a big step with this update. Um, and the way we're going to show you guys is with a trailer. And I think that's the way, best way to just show you guys. We're very, very proud to present to you guys. Uh, if, if Jasper can pull it up in a second. Mm -hmm. We're very proud to present to you guys update 4.0. There you have it. We're going free to play May 24th, actually. Yeah. It's in a month. <laughs> this, is like, this, is like, <laughs> this is like the biggest step we've taken with the game since its original launch. There was the Kickstarter, there was Overdrive, there was so much stuff, but I think nothing has been close to this uh, in since, since, no. yeah, since the, the original release. It took us tons of work and it's going to be great. I mean, free to play always made sense for Awesome Nuts because it would expand the community and yep. bring in more people, which makes the game better in all kinds of ways. A bigger community means more players, a more community created content, more tournaments. I mean, everything, everything just gets better yeah. for the game from now on. But no. what does free to play mean for the players? Well, in a basically, Awesome Nuts free to play will mean that you will be able to unlock characters by playing. Uh, every single uh, awesome note will be uh, will be unlo an unlockable basically, um, and you can also buy them separately. Uh, there will also be a pack which unlocks every awesome note forever. So an all notes pack will be introduced on May twenty fourth when the game uh, game is launched in its free to play incarnation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the basic gist of it. Yeah. So and that update. Um will go live in about an hour. So in about an hour, update 4.0 will go live. This will, uh, and like we said, May 24th is the actual free to play launch, but until then we're going into an open beta, basically, which is very similar to what we did for Galactron. 
Yep. So the live game will become uh, a live beta, actually. And then you will be able to do all the things that we're going to talk about, like unlocking those characters, unlocking draw pods, just do everything that you will be able to do after free-to-play um, actually goes live. But until then, you can still upgrade uh, your game, which you currently own, to the all not pack, basically, that Olivier just talked about. Yep. So if you own uh, Starstorm and the base game, but you do not own Overdrive, you can still buy Overdrive separately to unlock the all not pack and get every not ever made and ever to be made yeah, uh, for free. forever, for free. Yeah, yep. yeah well, it's not, it really, it's not free. really free, but, <laughs> but you, you have to you buy the G's. packs and yeah. then that's it. Yeah. Uh, so, But the actual base game will be uh, removed from Steam. So you won't be able to buy the base game anymore, although we will be giving away uh, beta keys, live beta keys, uh, through the month, uh, through all kinds of uh, sites, and uh, we, we will give them away ourselves. So that there will be still ways to obtain that. But if you already own it and you just want to get to that all nods pack and get all the perks that that uh, entails, because it's not just every character ever, there will be some rewards uh, linked to that as well. Mm -hmm. You can still uh, buy the missing expansions or the ultimate overdrive pack, which is also still available. Yep. That's basically it, right? Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get into detail let's just yeah. show them uh, let's go through the what's new screen and show people what they can be expecting from 4.0 4.0 so yeah first thing uh about free to play is uh, you will be able to level up your profile and not and you are not not specifically so in the old system you uh, would level up your account and you would unlock every single astronaut item along the way and you could prestige and that's basically what the entire meta game of yeah. astronauts entailed it wasn't that good i guess uh what we will be making right now is way better you can level up your characters unlock stuff you can level up your account unlock more stuff and uh yeah that's basically it unlockables unlockables <laughs> yeah uh, apart from that, you will also get uh, some points, some awesome points. A awesome points. Pe people who are active on our forums might uh, recognize that name. <laughs> um, yeah, we read the forums too. Yeah, so uh, playing games yeah. gets you awesome points, other stuff gets you awesome points, and you can spend that on characters and, and other cool stuff. Yep. And there's also drop pod parts, which, will, which you will need to unlock the, the awesome drop pods that we will be introducing. Yeah. So and then you can also just customize your profile because we there's all kinds of things you can spend your uh, awesome points on and one of those is um, portraits because we will be removing Steam portraits from the game. You can only use portraits that you can obtain through playing Awesome Not. You have to unlock. You have to earn them now. Yes. <laughs> and aside from portraits, there's also uh, other stuff to earn like like medals. But we'll talk about medals later. Yep. And then we just we just said it. I mean, <laughs> drop pods, drop pods, customizable drop pods are here. Yeah, they're, they're purely cosmetic. So everybody who's maybe wondering, oh, oh, snap, are there any gameplay advantages to, to the other drop pods? No, nope. they're just very cool looking. And with the new and improved uh, intro to uh, a match, you can show them off to your friends. But we'll all show that later. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, uh, one feature that we've uh, been hearing a lot about or a lot of requests about is Coop versus Bot feature. Yeah, which is very cool for a new player. Yeah, of course, since the game is going free to play, we have to think about all the new players that are coming into Osmonds <laughs> and they <laughs> they will want to have a Coop versus Bot feature. Yeah. So that's also something that is in 4.0. You can uh, hop into a game with two uh, other players or with... Uh, with two other split screen split players and yeah. playing triple screen against bots and uh, yeah, and if you yourself are very good at the game already, you maybe have a, n a friend new to the game. Yeah, it, that's an easy way to play the game and still earn some awesome points. Yeah, yeah. And well, we just talked about those medals, and uh, there are so some rewards, and and to the fact that you can still upgrade your basically your account to all not status until the the launch on May twenty fourth, uh, and there are some cool rewards linked to that in the form of medals which you can show off on your profile so uh, here you can see the three medals if you own the game before uh, May 24th if you played the game before the actual free-to-play launch and if you own the all knots back 
for all those three things separately, you get a cool metal, an upgradable metal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So also, apart from uh, the, the Coke versus Bots matchmaking, uh, which is new, there will also be a brand new tutorial, two-stage tutorial actually. Which is very elaborate. It's very elaborate and it has some story to it too, so it's fun uh, to play it even if you already uh, know the game pretty well. Yeah, it's I'd cool. I re recommend it to anyone. I, I recommend it because you still get a, a reward for it as well. Right? You also get some awesome points. So yeah, if you so, it's, get so it's certainly to, worth yeah, the effort. <laughs> it's worth the effort and it's uh, there are some pretty good jokes in there. Nice. So if you want to have a laugh and, with, some, with and, uh, and some awesome points. With the cool new guy, the GG7, right? GG7 is, uh, is, is, is our main uh, main man in the uh, <laughs> in the tutorial and he will... He will uh, he will teach guide you awesome notes. Yeah, yeah, guide you through it. Guide you through it. And talking about new players, this is also a very cool f feature. We've got now uh, we've got a recruitment feature in which you can recruit people to the game. Uh, yeah. Even existing players, you can recruit them to your cause as well. Yeah. And then once, uh, if you recruit a new player or an existing player, and they don't have the character yet, they get Raylan for free. So you don't have to unlock it, uh, unlock her with the awesome points or whatever. You can get Raylan for free if you recruit a friend and if that friend reaches level 8 you get a nice awesome points bonus as well more points yes so yes. much <laughs> so much opportunities yeah uh, and then well the we, armory for all this new stuff there's got to be a, a nice place to to check them all out and that's the armory yeah so the armory is sort of the central hub of all uh, unlockables and all characters and the drop pods and the announcers and uh, everything like that and yeah there are some nifty features in there and yeah uh, because it's not just a, a, a list of all the stuff you have and all the stuff you can get there's actually a lot of cool new info that wasn't previously in the game available outside yeah. of matches and stuff yeah let's uh, take a look at the armory yeah let's hop into the armory right away and uh, remember everybody if you've got questions you can always ask them in the chat and our our, our very experienced team of <laughs> Twitch chatters <laughs> will try to answer them to the best of their abilities. So yeah, this is the armory. So what what can we see here? So the armory is basically a it's basically your collection of uh, of awesome nuts, skins, drop pods, and announcers. Uh, you can click through all the uh, the characters, see what the what their awesome points cost is. You can hop into a character. You can uh, uh, read about uh, read about the character. What does he do? Uh, what is, are his skills? You can play his music, uh, play his uh, voices. And yeah, that's also yeah. those are. I mean, those are the little things that are yeah. very cool to be able to do because now you can just play those themes yeah. to the characters and 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 check out their voices without having to jump into a practice game or without yeah. having to go to YouTube to look up the theme and stuff like that. That's it's, really cool. It's a lot of fun and it's also sort of a jukebox thing. Yeah, I just yeah. love clicking. Like while working on this, I kept going back to the armory and just listening to all the themes and realizing, wow, this this is super cool. Just being able to click through all the characters and. When you're, when you're waiting for a match, this is probably the place that you'll be going to. Yeah, and you can check out the skins for each character, and if that character uh, does have a premium skin with a special voice, you can check out those voices as well. Yep. Same goes for uh, themes for ultimate skins. You can also listen to those. It's very, very uh, expansive. And then, of course, check out their skills and stuff like that. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, and there, there's also the, uh, the tabs in the top yeah. of the screen. There's uh, the items tab. In there you can check out all the items, so no longer do you have to go up into a custom game to check out the items for a character. You can just check them out in the menu, see whatever uh, they do, plan your builds and stuff like that. Yeah, that's very cool. And then of course, because characters now have separate levels, once you play a character you earn experience for it and then you can unlock all kinds of stuff for that character. There's an unlock tab. <laughs> wow. Boo. Boo. <laughs> so as you can see with the old system, you had to unlock um, items one by one for, well, basically a bit random. You didn't yeah. know, maybe you got items for characters that you didn't actually play. Yeah. Now you can just unlock those items for uh, the character you are actually playing. And don't worry if you already own the game and you already played those characters, you will have the items and the killing yep. spree unlocked by default. Yeah, we made sure that you you don't lose anything. The, yeah. the free the, the transition to free to play will not take away any content that you previously had. It will only add more 
free content basically, uh, yeah. if any. Yeah, so playing a character you can unlock a portrait, awesome points, draw pod parts, that kind of stuff uh, is available to you. And don't think you can get a lot of that, a lot of that stuff easy. You need to play. You need to be get good, of course. <laughs> get good get at the good. character, get good, bro. To, to level it all up. And then we've got a cool thing for all you lore buffs out there. We've we've had the, this request so many times. Yeah. To be able to read about a character's backstory in the game. Well, there you have it. Every character's backstory is now available to read in yeah. the armory. <laughs> yay, reading. We reading. Read. Yay. <laughs> Why read when you can play awesome? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then of course you can also, which is a very cool feature for the armory, since the characters are now all unlockable one by one, and maybe you don't know, maybe you'll want to spend your hard-earned awesome points uh, on a character you don't even know if it, if it's your playstyle. Yeah, if you maybe, like it, maybe you don't like it. Maybe mm. maybe you do. Mm. What is this robot? Kind of looking like a <laughs> telephone pole. What is it? What is it? That's a weird guy. And now you can try it out. <laughs> try before you buy. You just hop into a a very set little little map with one enemy and two turrets, and just you can buy some items and you can just check it out. Yeah. Just check it out, get some free solar. Get some free solar, nice! And then just check out the items and just shoot around, try to kill the enemy and then... Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but then at least you can make an educated decision yeah, before you exactly. buy the awesome one. Wow, so cool. <laughs> so cool. Such skill, Jasper. <laughs> so that's... Basically, the character armory yeah. in a nutshell. I mean, there's more to it. Um, so let's head on to the profile now. Yeah, because uh, because we just talked about unlocking portraits for uh, for your character. Yeah, and there's more to unlock with your character, namely medals and that kind of stuff. So we'll let's talk about that for now. So as you can see to the left, there's your profile level, which levels separately from uh, your character levels, and that unlocks all kinds of stuff as well. And there's well, you can fill that bar with all the awesome knots you've unlocked. That's also cool. Yep. So, portraits. Let's uh, let's uh, see what kind of portraits we can select. So there's a portrait for every character and every skin. And then there are some special uh, portraits. Yeah. You see? There, there's also a, a few nice portraits to start out with if you don't have any characters yet. Or yep. if you don't have anything unlocked yet. There's there's always the, uh, the droids. Yeah. There will always be droids. <laughs> Yeah, and there's the you just just highlighted the legendary Blabble Zork portrait, which is uh, awarded to people that already owned Awesomenauts before today. So that's yeah. another exclusive reward that you're getting if you owned the game before today. Yeah, and then there's uh, like like we said, there's uh, for characters and their uh, unlockables and skins, but there's also uh, portraits that you, that you can buy with your hard-earned awesome points. Yeah. Like uh, Zippy Starburst! Zippy Starburst! Right. Finally you can just unlock his portrait. Nice, I always wanted to have a Zippy Starburst portrait. Yeah, now, we're, now, we're, <laughs> now we're Zippy. And of course nice. there are some uh, ridiculously expensive ones. For if you, you just got you gotta have those. You gotta I mean, have you gotta have the expensive ones for yeah, for the, people who just play all the time and have everything unlocked and you still got something to play for. They are sort of the, the portrait Lamborghinis. <laughs> the <laughs> portrait Lamborghinis. They're cool nice. because they are expensive. <laughs> so so uh, aside from portraits, there's the other customizable, uh, the big customizable thing, which are medals. So how yep. can you earn medals? So medals are mostly uh, unlocked in through feats of strength, uh, mm -hmm. basically. Um, so you have to win games with characters. Uh, you have to progress uh, your account to a certain level, or you have to do various community type things, like the yeah. old icons that we had, the the the, the, duck. the duck and the gorilla and the, all the other those other items. Uh, are still there, but they have become emblems. Yeah, and same goes for the um, the prestige icon. So everybody who leveled up their prestige to max, be glad that you now have a cool emblem you can uh, flaunt on your profile. Yep. So, but we just highlighted a few of those characters. You only you only need ten wins to get one yep. of those medals. Each medal has three stages, so mm. you can level up an em a, a medal two times. So it starts out as a rare medal. It then becomes an epic medal and you can 
uh, unlock the legendary metal through 100 wins, I think. Well, that well, that's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Especially if you want to get them all. Yeah, then gotta catch them all. Then it's so, pretty and, insane. And I, so let's just select one of the cool uh, rare emblems that you can get through uh, playing the game and getting the all knots pack before May 24th, for example. Like this one, which is very cool. But as you can see on the top right corner, the emblem is already highlighted. Yep. But there's uh, two more slots for you to unlock on the profile uh, level. So in total, you can have three emblems to show off all your your might. All your might. <laughs> yeah. Show and, your might. And those will unlock uh, as your profile basically unlocks. Yeah. More stuff. So let's check those uh, unlocks out real quick. Which is a cool tab in the top of the profile. There, as you can see, uh, profile unlocks basically re revolve around getting more awesome points and unlocking cool metal yeah, slots. Yeah, unlocking the metals and some dropout parts. Yeah. So yeah, that's to help that's you on cool. your way. Yeah. So there's a, there's a, quite a lot of awesome points that you that we dish out in the start of the game, so yeah. people can have a nice uh, head start. Basically, they yeah. can the awesome points uh, flow richly. <laughs> <laughs> in the start of the game, uh, yeah, which is which is nice for new players. You don't have to worry as much about uh, making really good decisions of what what you're gonna buy. There's just a lot of points at the start of the game. Yeah, and then of course you can also always check out which characters you already have and what level they are, yep. and how how much you need to progress to the next level, and then yeah, that's a nice nice overview of all the characters that you have. Yeah, and then there's the stats uh, screen. The completely is, revamped stats screen. Which is completely revamped. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> so uh, this uh, account doesn't really have that much interesting stats, but you can see new stats. A nifty little thing that was built in here is that you can now see your average stats per match and per minute. So if you mm. want to see your solar income by the minute, you can you want to compare your characters that way uh, you can do that now and you can also select which mode you want to uh, see the stats for which is very nice so uh, let's uh, go to the last tab which is pretty cool which is the recruitment tab we talked about it earlier you can recruit other players or new players existing players uh, into your well yeah to your cool crew <laughs> your crew which which can consist of a max of 50 other players and then you can give them your code, they enter it, and once they reach level 8, you can uh, get some cool, a awesome points. Yeah, which nice. Is nice. And you get Raylan nice. for free. Nice. So let's, let's unlock these awesome points. We can use some more. Ooh. What's Woo! That? Whee! Yay, 1000 <laughs> points! Nice, so for each, uh, each recruit that levels to... Uh, eight, yep. you get a thousand awesome points. Yeah, and if you nice. recruit ten players, uh, or ten players that you have recruited uh, get to level eight, you get a portrait as well. You unlock the legendary recruitment master portrait. But uh, keep in mind, each player can only be recruited once. So one player can only be recruited by one other player. Ooh, that's, that's, so it's, so it's get, not as easy as it sounds. It's not as easy as it Get them recruits quick! <laughs> Make your own cool uh, recruitment video. Yeah, get of course you can site. also get recruited yourself. Just enter a friend's code, and uh, you'll award him some recruit some awesome points when you get uh, to level eight. Nice. So yeah, that's that's the profile screen in a nutshell. Be sure to check it out yourself, of course, and all the the cool stuff that's in there, all the portraits that you can buy and unlock, and all the medals that you can unlock. So that's that's cool. That's nice. You can go check it out. So we just saw uh, that you can also unlock dropout parts, and let's get to the the, the juicy stuff as well. The more, e well, we've already gotten to a lot of juicy stuff. But there's even more juicy stuff in the form of new dropouts. So uh, with those awesome points and those dropout parts, of course, you can unlock one of the three new uh, dropouts, which are pure, purely cosmetic, purely cosmetic. But there's not just um, of course, this is also pretty cool. Before we get into the new drop you can <laughs> you can check out backstories for drop -offs. So yeah. all you readers out there, <laughs> more reading, <laughs> more reading. 
So let's check out one of the new drop pods. The drop pod series, basically. Yeah, so they're basically, we look at drop pods uh, like maybe car manufacturers. So you've got uh, Volkswagen and you've got Ford and everything like that. And we've got those in the Ocelot's lore as well. <laughs> so there's uh, four lines of drop pod manufacturing that have each have three types. So, or there's three with three types and there's one that just makes one and maybe, yeah. maybe they'll make some more, but we'll learn about that later, I guess. Um, so yeah, there's the Zork Inc. shoe box, which, which kind of is the basic crappy drop pod that you start <laughs> out with. <laughs> and everybody and gets, every awesome nod gets this one. Every awesome nod gets this one, so you're, you're totally not unique <laughs> if you're in this drop pod. You need to have another drop pod, you need to upgrade, man. Like, for instance, the new Manta line. Manta line, so the Manta are kind of a nautical themed uh, drop pod. They come from uh, the world of Swiggins. <laughs> nice! So there's a little bit of lore there. There's, and each drop pod has three tiers, and you need the previous tier to unlock the next tier. So if you want to get that juicy Leviathan, which is the highest tier in the Manta, Manta line, you actually need to get both uh, tier one and two before you can get that one. Yep. So except if you buy a drop pod for real money, then you just get it right away. Yeah, you can. We don't want to have you go through through the hassle of buying every single one if you want yeah. to have the last one. If you want one and you're willing to pay real money for it, then you get right, right you can away. Still, you can still do that. Yeah. So there's three lines of these with all, uh, both, with all three of them have three tiers, all unlockable. And we never know what the future holds. There might be more uh, manufacturers coming up to the Awesome Nuts due to the popularity and they want to get their lines featured by the Awesome Nuts. So for now it's Manta, Fotonov and Xemzen. 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 So, uh, but now you have that awesome drop pod and how are you going to show that off? How in are you going to show off your new drop pod? In game you can just select it in the, in the armory and then uh, hop you can in. hop into the match. Hop, hop. You can just activate, yeah, you can activate one in, the, in this screen. Well, Let, we, let's take the Manta. Let's take the Manta because that's a new one. That's a new one. Well, they're all new since they're the old yeah. one got updated too. Yeah, so that's that's true. That's true. All new drop pods. So let's try it in a practice match because I think you can also select your uh, drop pod in the character select, yep. right? Yeah. So if you if you change your mind, want another drop pod at the last second, you can still do that. There's a cool button over here. You can select your announcer, which is Bubble Burke. Bubble Burke. This Bob is the name for the default announcer. Yeah, it's Bobble Burke. It's Bobble Burke. <laughs> Bobble Burke confirmed. Yeah, the not alone pod. And then let's let's go, because this is also quite exciting. Let's go. Shh. This is cool. Hype. 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 Nice. So yeah, it's a brand new intro cinematic that yeah. only plays at the start of each match. Yeah. And you can see whoever is in your match and uh, yeah, do that whole thing. Yeah. Where you show off your I, I, epic drop It's pods. not just the first intro and the, the whole drop out sequence has been revamped with uh, improved uh, visual controls basically. Yep. It seems like you're going down faster. There's all kinds of it, it looks really cool. It has been uh, Especially Kuhn put a lot of work in that and it looks so nice. Yeah, but I think during all that hype and About the uh, the cool new drop out sequence, we missed something else Yeah, we missed the door and uh, and also the, the F1 screen. There's a new F1 screen, which is also a new uh, feature for new players you can just hit F1, see whatever your skills do. Yeah. What the skill, what the froggy do. What the froggy do. <laughs> <laughs> what do the Scoopy do, what do the froggy do. <laughs> if you want to know, just hit the F1 button and you, uh, you'll know. You'll know. <laughs> so yeah. And also there is a door at the start of each match, which Let basically yeah. does whatever, what doors do. What do doors do? What do doors do? 
What does a man with a door do, Olivier? He opens the door. But this well, door cannot be opened. It will open automatically after oh. 45 seconds. That's a very or 40 <laughs> seconds, I don't know. After a generous Hold amount up. of yeah. seconds. Before we uh, continue, I see some cool exclamation marks over there. What oh does yeah. that mean? Those are, of course, our rotation characters, which change every week. So every week there's four characters that are free to play for everyone. So if you haven't unlocked it, you can still play it. And this week, uh, Froggy G, uh, Swiggins, Chucho and Penny are unlocked. Yeah, and it's also very nice if you if you use the try feature and you, you're still not sure if this <laughs> character that you like, you can also yeah. wait until it comes into a rotation and then you can try yeah. it against other players, fail horribly and then decide to just buy the character because you like it. Yeah, <laughs> and also if you don't play enough to unlock every character, you can still have some variety yeah. through to characters there are being every week. So yeah, that's uh, very nice. Of course, sorry. Hello Jasper. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I just want to say that everybody who already owns the game, of course, will already will have all the knots that are part of their purchase already unlocked. So you don't have to worry about, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone l like no one loses any content. Yeah. So if you already the own all the characters up until Overdrive, you have all the characters, yeah. and then you have the all knots back. But if you don't have Overdrive, but you have Starstorm, all those characters you already had. Yeah. Still available. If you had awesome nods and not overdrive and not starstorm, you had you will have every character apart from the overdrive and starstorm character. Yeah. So you will, will not lose anything. And then from that point on, you can just start playing, try and unlock all the starstorm and overdrive characters, or you can buy one or both. I I recommend both because then you have the all nods. Yeah. Pack. If you're gonna buy one, you yeah better buy. Both. And then you can just buy those packs and then un get get all the knots for free forever if you uh, get both expansions. Yeah. But that's only available until May 24th. Yeah. After that it becomes the all knots pack and well, you might hit yourself in the head for not having bought uh, bought the Starstorm and Overdrive yeah, earlier. The Starstorm <laughs> like we're not yet announcing the the price for the pack. Uh, but the Starstorm and Overdrive combination deal is definitely b the definitely a better, better deal. Better deal. So yeah. Okay, let's check out the door. The door. The door. What does the door do? <laughs> what is this strange invention you are talking about? This, is this strange contraption. This <laughs> contraption. It oh is snap! A, oh snap! At least we can look at the cool intro. So yeah. you can uh, immediately see which character everybody is playing, and then you can also see their emblems and their portraits. Yeah, look at the noise. scrubby bots in their crappy drop pods. <laughs> 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 the losers! Losers! <laughs> Let's check out the door. <gasps> there it is! There it is! So, so this is... Yep. This is very... Yeah, that's it. It's a door. Yeah, and make sure everyone gets into the match at the same time. Yeah, and especially for players who just... Uh, are a bit newer to the game, they get a little time to check out the uh, the items and make a more informed decision instead of feeling rushed and seeing everybody run past. Yeah. So that's the idea behind the door. Also another uh, nice feature to show off is the new uh, scoreboard. Yeah. So if you hit uh, tab, you'll see a new scoreboard and it shows the items for each character. So you no longer have to hover over each character to see which item he, he has bought. If you have memorized the icons for the, for each character, you can just see it right away yep. here. And it's a little bit more open in the center of the screen, so you can see your character and you can just keep playing while you keep it open. It's yeah, as we can see, Swiggins has already bought an item and yep. he's dead. So it didn't do him much good, <laughs> but he bought an item. And of course, also here, you can see the portraits, you can see the emblems, everybody can show it off. But what if you're somebody who just wants to see the scoreboard the entire time, Olivier? What do you do then? Well, well... Well... You can ha go into the settings menu and turn on the player status dock, which is a new feature. Uh, yep, that one. Uh, which shows up in the top of your screen is basically every character in the game and it shows their status, their hit po the hit points of your teammates. Of course it doesn't show your enemies hit points since they will be cheating. They will be cheating. This is cheating. This is that, that be cheating. 
Um, but you, you will see when they are dead and when they are in the drop pod and when they are about to respawn and it's just a little bit of extra information. Yeah, it's a nice gla quick glance so you can always yeah. see when they are... Uh, where your where your teammates are at yeah. status wise basically. yeah and if you don't like the the clutter that it brings to your screen or you, if you don't need that information then you can just turn it off so, yeah the status dock the players the play player status dock the player status dock you can actually play with the leaderboard um, all the time now yep yep so there's nothing that inhibits you from keeping the leaderboards on i'm sure there will be some players that will play that way <laughs> but um, yeah, we're it, guessing not everybody. We're not will. recommending it. <laughs> <laughs> it might cause seizures, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. What have we discussed? Everything so far. Have we uh, the the, um, the big parts, the, the the big things? I feel like we've been going like mi ninety miles an hour. <laughs> Nin <laughs> 90, now, so. ninety miles an hour explanations. Well, yeah. Um, Oh yeah, there's also the uh, mute and report menu. If you go back to the in-game menu, uh, mute and report. You can now report players. Of course, you cannot re re uh, report, report yourself, yourself <laughs> but you can uh, report other players very uh, easily. You don't very easily. So yeah, no need to just go into your whatever Gmail, Hotmail browser and then <laughs> type an, an email two more times. Go to Alta Vista. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lycos search. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can easily report uh, players that are being, uh, which are harassing, using uh, awful language and griefing and all that kind of stuff. It's yep. easy to report them, and you can mute them, mute, mute them as well, if you don't want to hear them. Yeah. They, oh, snap. Yeah. So yeah just, that just, functionality. Just leave this fun. game. You'll, you'll never. You'll never win. You'll never win, Jasper. Rage quit. Rage <laughs> quit. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, yeah, there's all these kinds of little things. Like there's a first win of the day bonus. Every first match yep. you win e each day will grant you a bonus, bonus to your awesome points. Yep. Which is nice. And super uh, nice. Which something we haven't shown off yet is that when you complete a match, there's an all new end of game screen which shows how much. How many awesome points you gained and how much experience. And which and unlocks you got. And yeah. it also sh shows a breakdown of each player's stats and whoever was the best at whatever. Yeah, most kills. Most kills, best k KD. Yeah. Um, yeah, very nice. Shall we uh, try? I, I mean, I haven't been watching the chat very closely. I, best, I bet it's, it was mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> it was chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's mm -hmm. head into. It's very, uh, not very quiet. Let's <laughs> head into a couple questions. Maybe uh, let, let's re reiterate the the the, the all nods pack uh, real quick. If if we yeah. can go to the armory, uh, Jasper, and then just click the unlock every awesome nod forever. So this basically uh, lines out that deal. Yeah. So just get awesome nods, get awesome nods, star storm, get awesome nods overdrive. And you'll get every character forever for free. Yeah. And also, not Starstorm and Overdrive are on sale right now, so it's a nice. It's a deal of a lifetime. It's the deal of a lifetime. Hit it now. Salesman pitch. Yeah. So if you're not sure for some reason which oh, expansion you do not have, you can easily check it out. And as you can see in the background, and maybe you've spotted him in the uh, skin screen. Yep. You don't not only get all characters forever for free, but you also get the very exclusive a uh, gold star um, skin, skin. Yeah. which is which is this one, which That's is super cool. It's very cool. It's Lone Star with a golden mask and all kinds of golden gadgets. Golden golden robo hence, gadgets. Hence the name Gold Star. It's super cool skin, and um, he gets some pretty spiffy special effects as well. Yeah, his dy dynamite look really nice, and there's a special bull. Bull. Oh, can Just you check it out, Jasper? Nope. I don't think so. I think you're a base Lone Star. Yeah. <laughs> this <is some> <laughs> That's a disappointment, right? <laughs> this is something that we will probably add later. The yeah. uh, the checking out of skins. There's no reason that's not here, but yeah. yeah. Kind of everything right away. Well, we pretty much have everything right away. It's so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much, man. 
So yeah, maybe uh, do people have some uh, interesting questions? We do. We do have some interesting questions. Mm. How about... Oh. You can minimize that one. Yeah, exactly. We don't need it anymore. How about this? Oh, yep. The, uh, so the quest first question is, so what about the Steam achievements for prestiging? Will they be obtainable through other means or are they going to be removed? Nope. They're not going to be removed. Um, because that would be lame. Because that would be lame. <laughs> <laughs> Very lame. Incredibly lame. Um, you will be able to get um, the prestige achievements through leveling up characters. So for each character that you level to its max, so at max level, you'll get a one-up for your prestige achievements, basically. And that is very hard to do. It's That's very hard. not easily obtainable. So it's it, it pretty matches, time intense. Yeah. It, it matches the intensity of uh, the original prestiging. So yep. it's not like people who ha who who did all the work for prestige did it for nothing and they can now no, easily get the achievements. They got the better deal. I think and they also got the better that, deal. that was the <laughs> only way to get the emblems. So you will not you won't get the new emblems for uh, for leveling up characters. Those are specifically for when you reach a prestige level during the the time until now. Yeah. Um, but we you will be able to get the Steam achievements. We since announced the, the, the deadline for today. So people, yeah. People, you're too late. If you see those medals now and they look so cool, I'm sorry. You're too late. <laughs> you're too late. Oh, that's harsh. Maybe you can get a friend who has them. Like, so you can still check them out. You can still check them out, yeah. <laughs> you can also always watch the blue version. Yeah. In the game. <laughs> <laughs> Sad face. So what about those who already bought all the expansions? Do we get gold star? Yep. Yep. <laughs> because <laughs> yep. Well, <that> next <laughs> next question. So basically when you uh, unlock all these expansions uh, and you automatically upgrade your account quotation marks uh, uh, to a all not pack which will be the pack available after May 24th. Yep. So basically by getting all the expansions you upgrade your uh, your uh, Awesome Nods account to a All Nods version, and then you get Gold Star. And the emblem. And the emblem, of course. Yep. Uh, which go with it. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, so, who are going to get access to the beta? So, everyone. everyone. We, we are we are calling it a beta, but it's just... It's the it's a live beta. Yeah. So, the Awesome Nods is updating, or, or is updated right now. Uh, to or, or yeah, or soon at or least. Or soon, or today. Today. Also, is, is updating today to 4.0, and all the meta game stuff, and all the unlocking, and all that, everything that you see here in game, is uh, will be live today. Yeah. Um, so, and and you yeah. can play that if you own Awesome Nuts. Yeah. If you own the Awesome Nuts base game, you can play it right now. So if you still have a key lying around. For instance, maybe you want a key in a streamy show, or you got a key through other means. You can still activate those, right? Yeah. Yep. So you can still play this. And the the only other way to get into this live beta, basically, because the game is not available on Steam anymore, is to get a key through uh, one of the sites that are giving them away, or maybe through one of uh, the means that we are going to give them away. The so there's still ways to get in. Yeah. Or or you have to purchase the uh, Ultimate Overdrive pack. Yeah. So, which so will translate into the new all nods all pack. Nods pack. Yeah. yeah. So those are uh, that's the way that's the, the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Crumbling cookies. Man. Crumbling cookies. Uh, is it possible to buy skins with awesome points? Nope. No. We're not. <laughs> we're not saying Our it's. Are so short. <laughs> yeah. It's. We're not saying it's never gonna happen. Uh, but right now. All, yeah. all skins are unlocked uh, like they used to be unlocked. There so might be by, skins in the future or yeah. something that will be only obtainable through Awesome Points, something like that. But all skins available right now that were available up until this point as well will still only be available through the means that they were originally available, which is through the Steam yep. store. You have to grind real life money, real yeah. life Awesome Points. Get the paper. Get paper. Get and paid. Get paid and buy ESC Rocco. Because it's baller and you can listen yep. to the theme in game when you make dank killing sprees. Also, a uh, quick disclaimer right now if you in the armory the character prices are listed as zero, uh, which is n 
or the, the purchase prices on Steam are listed as zero. But that's just because the, the packages on Steam are not live yet. Yeah. Uh, those will go live as soon as the, the patch goes live. Yeah. So you can then you can start buying characters separately as well. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Next question. Next question. If people only have the base game, do they unlock all the characters from the base <laughs> game <laughs> when free to play <laughs> launches? Yes. 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 Yeah, that's that's basically what happens. You yeah. uh, you uh, you'll have all the characters except for the Star of and Overdrive characters, yeah. which you can then unlock for awesome points, or you can buy the pack. Yeah, whatever but, you like. But uh, all characters released from now on, you won't you will need to level for those. You will need yeah. to get awesome points to get those. Yeah. Or you can of course buy them through Steam. The old pack. But or and you or you can upgrade to the old Nods pack. But the only way you can get new characters unlocked right away is by upgrading to the old Nods pack. Yep. If you own a skin for a character, do you auto unlock them? Do you auto unlock uh, the character? No, yeah. no, no. If you buy a skin for a character, you do not unlock the character. You have to unlock the character first. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, it, of course there is at the moment no scenario where that's possible for people who own a skin but don't own the character because you automatically unlock characters that you already own in before this update went live. Yeah. But from now on, if you buy a skin for a character, be wary. Yeah, the game will kind of guide you through it. If you try to buy a skin for a character that you do not own, it will show a little pop-up Yeah. Uh, to tell you exactly what you have to do. So, unlocking the character. Ta-da! Ta oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> oh, another question. Who is this man with this uh, rocket launcher? <laughs> Who is this a man with a rocket launcher? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's. Uh, <laughs> Look at this chat, man. They're like. Go in psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> we are not telling yet. Yeah, we are not telling you right now. It, that, that man is going to stay in the loading screen taunting you <laughs> for not knowing who he is. Yeah. Until we uh, see, until we think it's, it's, it's a good it's time a to reveal him. Before we think the time is right. Right, to yeah. reveal him. Might be in a couple of weeks, might be in a couple of years. Who knows? There's also the time frame of months. Months. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, we're, we can't really say much. Well, we can, but we won't. We, can, but we, we won't say much. We won't say much. Tough luck. Um, that is, uh, that's a good one. Uh, so, uh, we've shown you all kinds of stuff for the, the things you can unlock and the, the new drop pods and you already saw the new door and the cool new drop pod sequence. But a lot of stuff has been added. Uh, little quality of life things, things, we made things prettier. Things Graphics pretty. and nice distortion effects. Yes. Yeah, distortion effects and some of the uh, character special effects has been updated. I think uh, Penny Fox, which uh, we'll be showing off right now, has gotten some cool distortion and new uh, effects for her skills. Same goes for, I think, Ayla got some upgrades. Coco got some upgrades. Shout so, yeah. out to uh, Luke, who made all those uh, Intern effects. Intern Luke. Luke. Yeah, sure. Master Luke. Master Luke. Who, who made those uh, cool new effects. So yeah, there's Which a lot way? of characters that have some new effects. Which is cool. Yeah, I really like the new time bubbles and the max focus slow bubble. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really cool. Alright. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright. So we've got another question. When, uh, when does the Awesome Knots rotation switch? I think I'm not 100% sure, actually. I think it's uh, every Monday. Every Monday. So Monday marks the start of a new week, uh, and so the rotation yeah. switches. And I, I'm assuming some some characters are more elusive in the rotation than others. Yeah, that like easier characters will probably end up in the rotation more. Uh, there, by the way, there will also be a starter rotation. So if your account is below level seven. Below account level 7, there will be a special, super easy uh, starter rotation. Mm, so yeah, that's, uh, that makes sense. Pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, so, we've got another question. 
Uh, will stuff unlocked in the live beta carry over to the free-to-play launch? Yep. It will basically be the same game. So yeah. what will happen when uh, the free-to-play launches is the game will go free-to-play, but everything will stay the same. Yeah, so you won't notice much. There probably won't be a big even the big update at that point we'll no. just we'll just flip that switch and then the game will be available to everybody for free Whee! so yeah yeah so the coming month just marks a live beta where we uh test out stuff in the game as it is now and it will be updated with every feature uh today and yeah. the free to play change which is basically just going free to play and uh, yeah. all the content will be already be there will happen at May 24th. Okay, another another question. Do you have to level up characters again to unlock upgrades? If you already had uh, th those characters, you will not have to unlock uh, the items. Like for instance here, this account already uh, uh, had uh, Baby. The base game. Um, so, this, so they had X the interloper was already unlocked before yeah. update 4.0 went live. But he's still level zero with X the interloper. Um, but he al already has unlocked the the, the the items marked with white text are the unlocked items, and that's the stuff that he already has. So he will, he will still have to play for the portrait and the awesome points and the dropout parts. But the custom killing spree, the master sh Aureus and the shop items will not go away. We will not take away anything that you already yeah. had, basically. So yeah. yeah. You will not lose anything. Like we 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 wanna go about going free to play in a in a thoughtful manner where we think 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 about the existing community first. That's one of our main priorities. Like um, we don't wanna do it in a in a nasty go free to play in a nasty way where you lose all lose all kinds of stuff and oh now i have to grind to get the stuff that i already had that's stupid we're, not, not, we're not we're not gonna do that you're you might get some free stuff you might get some items that you didn't already have but you're not gonna lose items that yeah. you already had so, yeah yeah so uh can you uh level up your account and your characters in custom games nope no, you can only do it through uh, player versus player matches or co-op yep. versus bot matches, right? Yeah, yeah, it's very, like I'm not saying that this never will be a thing, uh, but it's just very difficult to get that right and not have people just create special custom game modes that are all about getting as much awesome points and yeah. you get victory in two seconds and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be weird. The same thing. Uh, uh, there are some restrictions to the co-op versus bots. Yeah. Uh, awesome points. Yeah. Versus player game. match is definitely the best way to get maximum awesome, awesome points. points output. <laughs> so, um, but co versus bots is uh, is competitive in that regard. Uh, but versus player matches are the best way to get get points. Yeah. So if you think you'll be smart and win versus bots in in three minutes every time then that's not really gonna work. It's better to win against players really quickly. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, there's bot bu difficulties. That's a nice thing to highlight. You'll be able to set the set the difficulty slider when you search for a match. Yeah, and uh, if you join a match where, uh, well, maybe somebody said, I want an easy bots or medium bots, and somebody said, I want hard bots, what happens? Um, well, if... if uh, the, the game, of course, tries to put people together with the same preference for bot difficulty. But if that doesn't happen, it, it'll, it'll try to find a middle ground uh, where it uh, uses the bots of the lowest difficulty and then adds one bot that is one difficulty higher. Mm, so okay. it will never, it, it'll pretty much never have newbies going against hard bots. Or if anyone has picked the easiest bots, it will. The hardest thing it will ever do is to have two easy bots and one medium bot. Or it's medium and hard. It tries to mix, uh, mix, yeah. some, uh, mix and match. Uh, yeah, anyway. so the medium bots are the easy bots and the hard bots are the medium and the very... Uh, it's, <laughs> all sem it's semantics, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 
I'm sure people understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. <laughs> so when does this all go in beta? I think I think we're we're nearing it, right? Yeah, we're nearing it. Like right now, it looks like we're going to go in beta in uh, 1830. Of course, we have seen it. That's in half, about half an hour. If everything goes well, we'll be the the the, the game will update in half an hour. So give it ha give it 40 minutes, and uh, we should be there. But no promises. Uh, like uploading bu builds and stuff is tricky. It uh, can take some time. Yeah. So it's still the same. Uh, I know that. Yeah, some some got some new art, some new uh, oh, yeah. duels with them. Yep. Like this the, uh, I think, uh, Scree got Scree, this is me. Yeah, this is me, Scree art. Slow Wolf was already there. Yeah. This is Susie, by the way. This is what Susie Durple's assistant actually <laughs> looks like. <laughs> this is what she looks like. So now and you then know. This one was already there. Uh, this one's new as well. Yeah, some new Volter cool. art. And you can also, for the announcers, you can also check out the voices before you unlock them. Yeah. Oh, it's a special unlock. Oh, you can't get that one anymore. <laughs> ah, that's too bad. The wildlife documentary. Documentary. So yeah, that's uh, it's all there. And Barbelberg. Barble. Nice. And, all, and, <laughs> and they all have backstories as well. You can read. So for all you readers out there, there's so much stuff in this update, man. Yeah, so much stuff to read. So much pop-ups and nice of course uh, of course if you have questions after the stream um, you can go to uh, uh, our forums the awesomenauts forums just go to awesomenauts.com and uh, go to the community page and uh, hit up the forums or go to the steam forums for the game or reddit we read them all uh, we'll, we'll also be doing a AMA before uh, we go free to play so uh, if you've got any last second questions before yep. then, uh, we'll also do uh, an AMA in, yep. uh, during that time. Yeah, so keep tabs on our Twitter and our Facebook to see where when that will happen. So I'm not sure when we'll be uh, we'll, we'll be doing that, but yeah. Mm. So uh, somebody's asking, um, what about us who bought the game? Do we get anything? Do you get anything if you bought the game before all this happened? So if you had the game before before Arsenal's went free to play, you get all basically get all the characters that you uh, got with the game. So if you had Arsenal's and not the the expansions, you get every character except for the character that you didn't own, except for the expansions. Um, you do get every character that you didn't unlock through the old progression system. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, if you if you uh, had the game before uh, the game uh, before today, basically you get so you get a new portrait, you get a new uh, emblem. You uh, get the the the, 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 the bubble zork portrait, and you get these legendary founder emblem. Yeah, which you can flaunt to all the the boys and girls. Uh, the boys and girls who will be joining us after uh, the free to play switch. Yep. Gets hit on May 24th. Uh, oh mm -hmm. And also, comparatively, like the old purchasing the old game is the pretty much the best deal that you're gonna have made. Like, how do you, how do you say this? Like, uh, <laughs> you get you get uh, the, the the character prices uh, for buying a separate character will range from two. To six euros, so buying the game will, which grants you, I think, about 20 characters for 10 bucks or even less on Steam sale. It's like an insane deal. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, the deal for if you got the game before is, in comparison to what you we need to do to get all the characters after it launches, it goes free to play. Is it's way yeah, better. It's, it's way better. Yeah. So yeah, we re do recommend getting, like, except if you want to unlock every character. I mean, there's there are players who who don't, just don't want to pay for the character since they enjoy unlocking every character. Like, yeah, I can definitely see that being a thing. So, but if you just want as much content as possible and you're willing to pay for it, then we do recommend getting 
in on the current all knots back deal. Yeah. Where you buy awesome knots and overdrive and star storm and get every character forever. So, is that? I think uh, I think I'm reading right that at the moment the final build is being tested. Yep. By the team downstairs. <laughs> so hopefully the the the, the launch time of the update of uh, half past six is half past half past six. Half past six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was confused for a second. Netherlands. <laughs> that's, and that's Netherlands time. Yeah. So, yeah. Is uh is still a go. So that's in about half an hour, a little less than a half an hour. Um, so who is the starter character now? Who do you play as when you just start play the game for the first time? It, like in the previous version, it's Lone Star. In the beginning of the tutorial, you start out as Lone Star. And in the second part, there's a whole brand new part, or the entire tutorial is new actually, but the first part is with Lone Star and the second part is with Scoop. Yeah. So you get to learn a ranged character and you get to learn a melee character, which nice. is pretty sturdy. And and in both parts of the tutorial, uh, GG7 is there to guide you through the entire uh, thing, giving you some hints and tips. Hints and tips and jokes. And goofs and gaffs. Goofs and gaffs. To show you uh, what is up and uh, how, to, how to play this game, basically. Yeah. And you can also play the drop up with your dang uh, drop. Yeah, if you if you somehow tutorial. unlocked a drop out before <laughs> before you started the tutorial, <laughs> before you ever played the game, you can uh, play the tutorial like a boss. Like a boss. Yay! Oh, there's a doe. It's a doe. Yeah. So in the tutorial, the door takes a little longer to open because GG7 needs to explain, explain some, some stuff. stuff. <laughs> Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. I'm not ready. I'm well, not ready yet. I got to I got to say something about this. In this particular build that we're playing right now, this is broken. Oh, the door won't open? No. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. <laughs> <laughs> this is not actually the version that is going to go live. This is not actually the version that is going to That was... <laughs> <laughs> so somebody's asking, how can people get a beta key? <laughs> Through various means. Um, we'll be giving away beta keys, keys through various channels and... Um, I guess there will also be a lot of beta keys being given away by certain media outlets. Gaming related. Gaming related media outlets. Gaming related media outlets. We'll announce it later. We'll also put up a, a site where you can sign up if you are interested in a video game. Yeah. So there's all kinds of ways. All kinds of ways. There's all kinds of ways <laughs> getting beta keys. <laughs> that's very Lone Star of you. <laughs> oh, looking at Lone Star. Oh, that's, that's a mighty fine beta key you got there, sonny boy. So... Uh, please. I have Awesome Knots Overdrive pack in my Steam inventory. Uh, that... Uh, what will it give? What will happen to it? I, I think that's the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What will happen to the Awesome Knots Overdrive pack in uh, your Steam in inventory? 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 So this just means you have the Overdrive... Oh, the, 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 the Ultimate Overdrive pack. You have, you have the Overdrive DLC in your inventory, and what will happen if you would redeem it uh, now? You'll get all the Overdrive characters. You and can if redeem that it if you don't have the base game. Yeah, if you if you don't have the base game, then obviously it won't do anything since it's an right. expansion. But if yeah. you have Awesome Nodes, and then you redeem the Overdrive pack uh, DLC, or the Overdrive DLC specifically, uh, you'll get the characters that accompany the overdrive. Yep. So. And if that's the only uh, expansion you were missing, you already had Starstorm, you will automatically get the all knots pack. Yep. So if you, it, but if, if you don't redeem it, you can unlock those characters by spending awesome points. So you, yep. can, you can choose. Mm -hmm. Is that... 
So another question is not is not everyone who has the game get get access to the beta? No, every the game is the beta. Yeah, the game. So is it's beta. a live beta. So the game will go into beta for 4.0. Yeah. So everybody who has the game, everybody who has the base game, had the base game up until now, can yeah. just go play in about half an hour. The, the update will go live, and you can just yep. play it. There's just no other way. You can't just buy the game on Steam anymore. That's basically yeah. what it is. So, and the only way to be able to get the game now in the coming month is to get one of those keys we were just talking about. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't already. If you didn't already. Okay. Yep. That's it. If you didn't already. So, you don't need to do anything. To You just need to launch Awesome Arts to get the new 4.0 stuff. Yep. That's the only thing that you have to keep in mind is you only easy. have to start the game too easy if you don't have the game you have to get the game and if you don't want to get the game you can play it for free starting may 24th may 24th is the official free to play uh, launch it all sounds more complicated than it actually is yeah i imagine especially when we, na we name it beta and it's a live beta yeah uh but Everything just happens in a very... There's kind of no real way to get stuff wrong. Um, yeah. Yeah, you just start up the game and you get everything that we... Just talked launch. about. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's in there right now. Yeah. Uh, can I and a friend recruit each other now? Yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> if you want. So if I have an account and I, have, I haven't recruited anybody, and Olivier has an account and he hasn't recruited anybody as well, for the sake of argument, I can recruit him and he can recruit me and then we can both level to uh, get our accounts to level 8, our profiles, and, and we then we can both claim SLAM. We can slam down that smooth 1000 awesome points. Or you can recruit yourself, which you is nice. You cannot recruit yourself. So but you can smash that button and you get your 1000 awesome points. And that's that. Smash that recruit button. <laughs> smash the recruit button. So yeah, and if, as you can see, if you uh, hover over somebody else's portrait, you can see all the the emblems they have and what they do. So you can show off your stuff everywhere, basically. Yeah. Also, if you were already uh, profile level eight and someone recruits you, you instantly get the or your recruiter will instantly get the thousand awesome points. Oh, so snap. you can just recruit. <laughs> If you recruit someone that's already above profile level 8, you just hit the jackpot. Bam! You don't have to wait. You don't even have to wait for your points. You can claim them right away. Nice. The only restriction that we have in the recruitment system is you can uh, only be recruited once. Yeah. Uh, oh, and the other only restriction is you can only have 50 recruits. Yeah. But that's so quite a lot. So if we recruit each other... Nobody can recruit us anymore. No, so that's the limitation. Yeah, so, so be mindful of who you recruit. <laughs> of who, who you pledge loyalty to. Yeah, be mindful. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and you cannot throw away recruits. Once you have recruited someone, he will stay your recruit forever. Never, <gasps> it will never go away. If you choose. Such a, a commitment! <laughs> it's such a commitment. You have to really think about it. Yeah. Think what you're committing. It's like marriage, but no, it's even more. <laughs> it's even more impactful <laughs> than marriage to your life. Yeah. So somebody asks, what does custom killing spree mean in uh, when when you're looking at a character's unlocks? Yeah. So it, it the custom killing spree is basically the the old killing spree music that we use for the characters. Mm -hmm. uh, but you now have to unlock it. Yeah. Unless you already had the character, then you already had the character and don't have to unlock it anymore yeah so that's part of the thing where we don't take thing stuff away from people yeah. so if you already had a character if you already owned the base game you have the killing spree for every yeah every every, character. everyone that will play the game for free will have to unlock their custom killing spree yes yeah. you're playing the game for free you have to play for your things man that's how it works that's how the free to play does that's how the free to play do <laughs> a lot of playing a yeah. lot of playing and a lot of cool rewards. You gotta be playing. Noise. So we, got some, we got some questions. Are people excited? I think some they're excited. Some questions. Some questions. So if you don't, if you don't have the killing spree yet, 
what kind of killing spree do you get? Do you even get a killing spree no. music? You just don't get any. You cool don't get killing spree music. You don't get. So that's a very good reason to level up to level six because you get a killing spree music. You get the, the music. You gotta listen to the music when you're playing the game. <laughs> it's very important. It's very important. Very important. So yeah. Mm -hmm. More questions. What is the profile level cap? It's 50 right now. Oh, cool. 50. 50. And yeah. if you get to level 50, you'll get a legendary profile medal, and I think that'll be probably be the most uh, elusive of all the medals. That is a very toughest elusive. one to get. Yeah, that's very hard to get. Way harder than the 100 wins or the... Yeah, maybe the recruitment medal will be tough to get as well, since I think people will start recruiting each other like maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> and soon there will, won't be uh, many recruits left, but... You gotta get new people into the game. You gotta lure them in to get to yeah. recruit them. So yeah, if you wanna wanna help help uh, Ronimo developer out, once the game goes free to play, get recruiting. Get on recruiting. Get recruiting. More people means more fun. So another question is, uh, what did you base the prices of characters on? So there's multiple things, but the main uh, main things are: is it part of a uh, or the, uh, was it <laughs> was, <laughs> was it part? I mean, I've been talking for more than an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, forgiven. It's you're it's forgiven. <laughs> I'm talking in Oli speak now. Uh, so uh, the one of the main things is, was it part of an expansion? So uh, we used to sell expansions for money, so it doesn't feel right to have expansion characters be super cheap in terms of awesome points. So they're pretty grindy. Uh, and added bonus is that the expansion characters were generally quite difficult. Yeah, so th that's the yeah. other thing. Like uh, the easier characters tend to be the uh, cheaper characters. So the characters that you're probably gonna unlock for first are the easier characters, since those are the cheaper ones. And then there's, if, if a character is very new, like Deadlift, it's gonna be more expensive as well. Yeah. And we're probably also gonna make it so that a brand new character will have a separate price point where it's uh, super expensive, more expensive than any other character in the game, and so that it kind of stays a little bit uh, so the games don't get... Uh, everyone gets their character and immediately start only starts playing their character and destroys the metagame. <laughs> uh, so we make new characters a little bit more expensive than the rest. Um, of course, if you have the all knots pack, you'll automatically be granted it upon release. Yeah. So, uh, can you, so something different. Uh, can you see what the medals of other players mean? I think we just highlighted yeah. the... the, the yeah, the, the cool little tooltip. Yep. So, Humongous has a epic koala medal, which means he was a silver tier donator for the Starstorm crowdfunding campaign. Which has been translated to a medal, of course. Yeah. Since it used to be an icon, and now it's a... Uh, has yeah, become it's a metal. metal. Cool. A cool green metal. Okay, and uh, is, is it the same for uh, the scoreboard in-game? Can you check out yep. what medals mean? So, medals are shown in the, in, in the main menu for yourself, whenever you hover over another player's portrait, and you can see them in the scoreboard as well. Yeah. And they're, yeah. yeah, they're shown off everywhere where you can see other people. Yeah, and you can also ba basically check them out. Yeah, also in the uh, in the uh, startup cinematic that will start up every single game where you see the dropouts and everything. There, the the player passport is there as well, where you can see which medals they have. So, so uh, next question: Will you guys be over at Gamescom in Cologne later this year? Uh, very likely, yes. Uh, very likely, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, Nothing. and by that time we will be free to play, so we hope to see tons of people there. Yeah. <laughs> so that will be cool. So Might yeah. be giving away some awesome points. Might be giving away some elusive stuff, because it's a live event, which means... Robo-scoops. Robo-scoops. <laughs> <laughs> no Robo-scoops this stream, though. No, no Robo-scoops this stream, stream, but if... 
If you get a, 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 a cool ticket to Gamescom Cologne, you can get yourself a Go RoboScoop by visiting yeah. our booth. But that's a, a little while away. But yeah, when is when is Cologne? It's in uh, August, August, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, August. You yeah. guys. There will be Robo Scoops uh, next week uh, during the streamy show. Yep, we'll be keep doing this like the streamy show will never die. <laughs> so hey, the Babadook. The Babadook. He's offline. And he's Babadook got, he's, is he's, already. That's my one of my developer accounts. It's profile level 40 already. Dang! Dang! That's high level. That's a high level, dude. So a quick update, um, there were some issues with the build, but they seem to all have been fixed. We're doing a, we're doing a, the final uh, checkity checks. For the, the final launch, the launch. The launch, the launch, and the, step, the final step, the step, step the steps. <laughs> and ev soon everyone can be, uh, will be able to play 4.0. Yes, you can get your awesome points. Get your dope portraits. Yeah, buy some portraits. Be like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Zip Starburst. Like, choose carefully which portrait you're gonna unlock. You do want to be the most unique kid on the block. <laughs> <laughs> on the block. Yeah. And of course, you can start leveling your profile and your characters so you can get those dropout points. Dropout points. And you can get your, your own Photon off. Or your, your own Samson. Yeah. Or your own Manta. And which all... which dropout is your favorite then? I think the f I like the Photon off. I like the, the final upgrade. I'm not sure what the exact name is for the... the yeah, it's the, the, the stealth one. Uh, the Mikulev Spectre. I like the Mikulev Spectre. The Spectre. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely very cool. It, I, I, because it, it's got this stealth... Uh, stealth generator. Round. One goes into stealth. I mean, I'm not even buying a drop pod right now. <laughs> oh wait, there it is! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Catching people off guard there. Uh, drop pods are only cosmetic. I yep. see somebody asking about that. They're only cosmetic, so they're purely to show off your your dopeness and your your cool drop pods. Well, uh, also I want to mention there is a secret in the game. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a very a very fun secret, and uh, it has to do with keep it hidden. <laughs> it has to do with uh, searching for matches. Yeah. So, so we're not talking. We're not gonna show you not guys. We're gonna show you guys, but that's it. Yeah. But see if you can find the cool secret. So somebody's asking, uh, what inspired the team to go free to play? A question mark. Well, the main thing is we want to get as much people playing astronauts. Like it's the, it's pretty obvious uh, answer, I guess. But yeah. that, that's the main thing. Um, more people playing the game means better matchmaking, means a bigger community, means more uh, community-made maps since we have That's the, also very cool, that's a cool yeah, opportunity. Yeah, probably more uh, tournaments, more community events, uh, a more solid commu core community. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the main thing. So just getting more people playing the game and also taking away like as a developer, taking away a barrier for for people from playing the game, it's just fun. I mean, you don't yeah. have to ask people for money. Oh, you have to, do you want to play my game? Give me some money, yeah, you have to play that. You can just say, here, play the game, it's fun. Yeah, That's yeah basically, can, people can always hop in if they see it, and if they yeah. think hey, this is interesting, they can immediately start playing it instead of having to say, hmm, do I want to spend money yeah. on this? They can just immediately start playing Awesome Nuts, which is really cool. Yeah. yeah. So we hope that a lot of new player players will come in and check out the game. Yeah, I hope so too. That will be it will be good for everybody, for people who are playing the game and for the game itself. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like what we've made right now is basically just a uh, it's a it's a it's the the, the best version of Awesome Nuts. 
uh, but it's also it's also also gives us a lot of opportunity for upgrades and improvements and we can add more drop pods we can have more portraits more emblems more ways to get stuff more ways to get awesome points we're just gonna see what people like yeah. and uh, what works best what doesn't work so well it's just gonna be a really exciting time to see uh, how we can improve because the tools to improve awesome knots have been uh, growing in this patch insanely so yeah. yeah and we've also got a lot of content on the way yeah definitely we have I mean, there's the, yeah there's still new characters coming up and so yeah, yeah there's a lot of stuff coming so don't don't be afraid don't be afraid yeah there, there's a lot of stuff there's like we have more people working on awesome knots right now than we've ever had yeah um, so the character updates are gonna be more frequent uh, yeah just gonna be uh, a good time for us and good times good times so uh, do you get extra points for randoming do you get extra awesome points when you random nope. during uh, matchmaking nope nope not, not right you now. just gotta do that for the challenge man you do it for the challenge you do it for the challenge. <laughs> you might add, may, maybe we should add a, uh, an, a a medal for them sometime. Maybe, like yeah, we could do something like that. Win, yeah. win 5,000 uh, random matches. 5,000? Doesn't. <laughs> 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 now, the, re the reason why we, we don't have a random bonus it be is because that would reward not uh, unlocking awesome odds. You just unlock your favorite awesome knot and then hit random, and the chance you get your favorite awesome odds are really huge. Yeah. So it's kind of cheatable in that way. So yeah. it's kind of lame. Or we but think it's lame. Maybe we'll add it. Maybe we'll have another opinion on it later. But that's the reason we we don't have it right now. So are you able to use uh, skins other than the default while randoming now? Um, not sure. That's something that we do want to fix, but I'm not sure if it got fixed in the 4.0 build. Is that the um, Jasper? Do you know? I don't think so. Yeah, not yet. It's not yet. we've just been focusing on it's getting the the base feature set out, and we'll be expanding yeah. on uh, on that later. Um, is there more content planned for the armory in the future? So, hmm. I'm guessing you're referring to other things than awesome not skins, drop pods, and announcers to to get. I'm not sure. Not not anything that we're announcing right now. I mean, we have some ideas, but we're just going into this launch open-minded and we're yeah. seeing what people think of it and then we'll of, of course it's platform where we can add more stuff yeah but it needs to have a f role and a function within the within the scope of the game so. yeah and there's um there's still there's things being added to the to the current thing uh, current categories like there's new skins coming and there's new of characters course, coming yeah. and most likely new drop pods coming in the in the future as well yep so We'll see. We'll see how it we'll goes, see. and yeah, we we don't want to plan ahead too far, especially since this is kind of a, a jump into the dark for us. Yeah, as there's, well, there's so. a lot of uh, there's a lot of uncertainties for us as well. I mean, we're that's why we said we're, that's why we need this beta period as well. Maybe we can s already see what people like and what people yeah. There's prefer. like there's a ton of things that we just could uh, hook up hook into our awesome points system like. We have lists and lists and lists of stuff that we uh, we could see in the game, but we, uh, yeah, we first we want to see the whole system in action, get a good grasp on what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Somebody's asking, how can I recruit my friends? Well, um, that's, uh, that's quite easy, right? Glad you asked. Olivier will explain to you right now. <laughs> so you can uh, go to your profile and go to the recruitment tab and there is a code and if you copy paste that to a friend they can enter it you can put it in the chat this is a good great way to get a lot of recruits just post your code into the chat i'm sure we'll see chat spam with uh, recruitment codes yeah but re remember you can do that but once somebody has uh, let himself be recruited they can be recruited again so it's exactly there's a big chance that <laughs> and it's a huge commitment and then, so the recruit recruitee can enter their code in this menu and they'll get Raylin for free when the game goes since or right now everyone has Raylin obviously since she's part of the core game 
But in the free to play version, people won't. A lot of people won't have Raylan, and they will get Raylan for free as a sort of uh, motivation to become your recruit. Yeah. So you can get those one thousand or some points. <laughs> one thousand. And of course, if you get ten recruits to level eight, you get the mo legendary master portrait recruiter. Yeah. Thingy. Dope. Dankness. Dankness. More to show off to your. More to show off. To your buds and to your enemies. So, do oh. <laughs> do, we, uh, do we have any questions? Or how Anyone? how are we with the update going live? No updates from the build. No updates yet. So we'll just hang so tight. So close. We're so close. I can feel it. I can Keep on talking, guys. <laughs> Use your words. My Use mouth words. is a desert. <laughs> My mouth is a desert. I need some. I need a drink. If anyone downstairs can get uh, Tim and me a, a couple. Of, what do you want to drink? Water. Le water or or maybe some rattlers. Maybe some rattlers. <laughs> so <laughs> guys, da guys downstairs. downstairs, get us some drinks. <laughs> get some drinks. Oh oh oh! I think everybody's oh, oh, watching. Oh. oh, WhatsApp message saying we're launching. Please stand by. Oh, hold, hold, oh, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> the whole room is starting to shake. <laughs> Roll them drums. Can you see us shaking? It's the room. <laughs> Roll the Can we just shake the, the camera and then go like this? <laughs> like on the old Enterprise. Uh, the old Star Enterprise Trek. where you stabilize the shot and every everybody's just doing this. Yeah. Oh, oh static. Oh. We're launching. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Oh. This, oh. Might, this might actually take. A little while, so you'll be shaking. Oh, we're shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should shaking. do like uh, the, the the space shuttle launch, where they close oh, up, yeah, shut yeah, off yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got we've got another question. So good thank back, you, back thank you, thank questions. God, that was another question. <laughs> Will unlocking skins unlock portraits? Yep. Yep. Oh God! <laughs> hey! hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Drink! Drink! Oh, <laughs> uh, what a boss! What a boss! So drinks coming in. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you get if you buy a skin, you automatically unlock the portrait as well. So if you get uh, get yourself a, a thank you very much for time, you get yourself a cool wicked cocoa skin. This water. So even if you're, so even if you're not playing Coco, you can, uh, you can still show that you own Wicked Coco. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. It's also very confusing for your enemies because you're maybe maybe you're playing a big badass like Ted McPain and then you're showing off the Coco portrait. Yeah. And then you think, you My <laughs> mind games. Mind games. Mind games. Let's purchase a portrait. Yeah, good idea. I'm, I'm tired of the Zippy Starburst. Uh. <laughs> another, you want to purchase another uh, portrait? We already bought the Zippy Starburst, right? Which one do you want? Choose How much points do we have? 29. Can we buy a Pixel Lone Star? Pixel Star. Pixel Star. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, that was nice. That's the that drink. It's. This is alcohol free actually, Kun. 0.0% oh, yeah. yeah, alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually just soda. <laughs> <laughs> it's soda. It's soda in a beer bottle. Yeah. Will the update also go to Mac and Linux? Is this I think this is another short answer, right? Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's uh, it's simultaneously launching on Mac and Linux because yeah, that's what it's it's a big update and oh yes, is posting patch notes. The the oh. changes are the changes are massive, so you really need to be able to have it on all platforms. Yep, simultaneously. Uh, I have something. Uh oh. Uh, this is... Cancelled. <laughs> Four point no cancelled. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have bad news. No, no, no. <laughs> this is uh, this period is a live uh, beta period where we will be gathering your feedback. But at the same time, this is the most extensively tested patch we've ever done. As in, we've sent it out to QA. We've done a lot of internal QA, and we've tried our best to make this as solid as possible for launch. Yep. Uh, of course, 
That doesn't guarantee there won't be bugs, uh, but at the same time, don't take this live beta moniker as, you know, it's just... It's It should be... Uh, it should be pretty solid. It should yes. be almost... It should be as solid as an actual launch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We we tr like Jasper said. There is so much testing gone on gone into this, but there of course there's so much that can go wrong with yeah. a massive change like this. Exactly. But we've tried to get all these bugs out and and get everything. Yeah. I mean, as we're, solid as possible. we're talking we're talking rocket science. It's uh, server <laughs> technical server architecture is extremely difficult. So. Also, big ups to uh, to uh, to our programmers who Broken made a really, voice. really solid, uh, yep. solid server architecture thing, which is big feat for a small studio like us. Yep. It's it's kind of unique. Um, so yeah. yeah, yeah, it should be it should be it should be uh, working properly. There probably will be some bugs. That that's why we name it a live beta, but it's just. Yeah. It's more like a patch release than a beta, exactly. if anything. I was gonna say, it's mostly a live beta to get your guys' feedback and improve uh, numbers and leveling and that kind of stuff. It's not necessarily for bug fixing. It's more, uh, you know, testing yeah. the waters. Questions! Questions! <laughs> the leak system, has it changed? Any change to the leak system? Not yet. Not yet, no. I mean, that would be that would have been nice and it would have been ideal, but with all the immense changes that were already being made to all the server architecture and all that kind of stuff, it would have been it not only would have been an, an extra amount of work, which would have delayed all this <coughs> by maybe even by by maybe even months, mm -hmm. but it would also have been extremely risky to do this alongside with the other big. Uh, Architectural changes to the back end of the game, and again, <laughs> <laughs> but that would have been dangerous, and then it would make probably messed everything up for you guys. So no, not yet. No, yeah, there's still you still have the leaderboards are still part of the game. You can still check those out. Of course, there's still uh, the leaderboard history. Um, check yeah. it out. This is on our list of things that we want to. Uh, update to be on the level of the rest of the game, but uh, yeah, we're, we're not announcing anything about that yet. We first have to see uh, how, how and when and why and with yep. whom. It'll probably yep. involve awesome points. <laughs> 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 Pay one thousand awesome points to view <laughs> to be listed on the leaderboards. No. <laughs> probably not. So somebody asking, the, uh, will the medal show during the game? So when you're actually in a match, because we we already see them in the menu and yep. we see them in the pre-game. Yep. But yep. yeah, yep. Next question. Next <laughs> question. So yeah, I think Jasper is going to show it off right now. When you're in the in the game and you open the scoreboard, uh, everybody's medals will be there. So if you've got that dank 100 win medal for. Uh, who shall we decide? Yeah, you also see it here. Yeah, you can also this, see it here. Uh, bam. So, bam! That's the legendary pre free to play medal. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I think in the in the scoreboard here you can actually check the tooltip as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you can see everybody's uh, portrait. Uh, <laughs> the bots don't have medals. <laughs> <laughs> check nips. Nips. Is somebody saying that the game is updating? <coughs> is it happening? Is it happening? I have no, no more confirmations. No more confirmations. No. This will probably be a huge update, though, so people uh, prepare I'm your sure. internet. I'm not sure if it's that big. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, uh, like texture and audio-wise. Oh no, there's a lot. I think that it's a it's a pretty big one. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, content-wise, it's huge, but there's a lot of server stuff that is not done. You don't need to download, and uh, yeah. Normally, like textures and music are the big things. Yeah. Uh, like storage <coughs> size. Yeah. Huge. Why? I see. I see a very big question over there. Um, what about a bit? Uh, what about down. us? What about console? 
we had, like this is uh, primarily a PC update, so we're not announcing anything about regarding console right now. Yep. There's yep. actually an so. announcement in the chat that the update is live. It's going free to play. Update 4.0 oh. now available. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's if that <laughs> means that it's live. Is it jinxed? It could just be that they they've added the update, <laughs> so everyone gets gets uh, the message that it's live once they're in the game. The other devs stop communicating with us. They might be drunk. <laughs> or, or getting, uh, they might be drunk, they might be stuffing their faces with Ritz. They might be partying because the update is live. <laughs> and they forgot to mention it. <laughs> a lot of people are saying it's maybe downloaded. Eating, maybe they're yeah, eating some people are. Like so it seems to be uh, It seems to be live, yep. If it doesn't update yeah, right live. away. Let's try oh, yeah, it, right it, should, here. it should be live right now. Let's get the update. Oh, Kun, can we get a full screen? Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Full screen, full screen. Yeah, it's updating. Something's happening. Oh, oh shit! Oh, change. Well, yeah. yeah, I meant that because <laughs> Jasper is doing <laughs> like, so much. This None. is how Jasper does. It. <laughs> Too late. It's fine. I got you. So I think it's it should be updating. If it's not, you can try to uh, restart Steam, or you can what can you do? In verify integrity or whatever. Yeah, just give it a give it a half an hour. Yeah. Go walk the dog or something. <laughs> <laughs> walk the dog. I mean, Get, give it half an hour and it'll probably update. Steam can be finicky. This is the live game. Yeah. I am not we mistaken. It's not that big, I think. Well, we were already... We were already updated. Oh, we were entirely already updated. Course, yeah. For us, it was a very minor change. Mm. All right. All right. It's live! Yay! Oh my God! Yay. <laughs> All right. So just to re reiterate, I guess to end up the stream, I guess we'll we'll end with uh, showing the showing the trailer one last time. But to reiterate, let's go through the what's new sc screen for everyone that joined the screen or joined the stream. Um, during about about later. Almost two hours too late. <laughs> about, so also now is going free to play. We'll be going free to play May twenty fourth. Right now, we're going live with 4.0, which includes every uh, a lot of updates to the whole meta game of Awesome Nods, and uh, you will already be able to unlock Awesome Nods awesome with awesome points and what have you. Uh, you'll be able to level up your profile and your nods. There will be all kind of goodies. You'll be getting awesome points, drop out parts. Um, to spend on all this ca cool stuff that you can customize your profile with, yeah. like portraits and medals. Yeah. And and of course the new drop pods. New drop pods. Cool new cosmetic cosmetics for your character. Yep. Uh, Coop versus bots is a brand new feature which you can use to uh, to kind of uh, get grips with a new character, or is an excellent feature for new players to yep. get accustomed to playing the game. Go for bot has matchmaking, by the way. Yep. I'm not sure if that was yeah. entirely clear. You can just ma be match. You can just solo queue, and then you get matched up with other yeah. players who are playing Co op vs. bots. Co op vs. bots matchmaking, which in also includes awesome point rewards and uh, everything that. The yeah. other matchmaking we watch. So, and if you uh, up, up, you can if you play the game now, and if you've owned the game up until now, you get already get some of the, those customizable medals for your for your profile. Same goes if you buy the all knots pack, you can also get an exclusive medal. And all the new players can, and of course existing players as well, because it's just a fun it's a fun thing to play. The the entirely new tutorial. Which explains the game uh, in detail through two phases, and it's very, very cool. It's yeah, and the, of course the recruitment uh, system where you can uh, bring more people into the fold. Yep, and you get Raylan for free. You get Raylan for free if awesome you get points. recruited, and it, you get some awesome points if you uh, recruit uh, a friend, and he gets to level eight. So yeah, it's awesome. And all the new stuff, all the new, uh, uh, well. Drop pods and the skins and all the characters and the announcers, everything is viewable in the all new arm armory system. You can all check out your favorite character, listen to their music, try them out. Yep. Uh, check out their items and their unlocks in the all new armory screen, which is which is also in this update. So it's yep. a big update, and you can download it now and check it out now. It's awesome. Yeah. So. Uh... 
Yeah, let's end with uh, rolling the trailer again, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys later. We'll see you guys in game. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Um, we'll be back next week with a regular streaming show with Robo Scoops and everything, and we'll be playing the all new update 4.0 with Yay. the guys grinding some cool new levels and unlocks. So hope to see you guys uh, next week. Have fun with update 4.0 and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. bye. Thank you.